Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. Have you ever been driving along and you suddenly stop and realize that you're moving around this world in a bubble of glass? It's kind of weird if you think about it, but it's really cool. Engineers have designed the glass in your car to be extremely safe so that when you have a wreck, you decrease the chance that you're going to get cut in half like the bad guy in Ghost. Remember the movie Ghost? Anyway, so today on Smarter Every Day, I want to investigate the two different types of glass that go into car windows. On the side, you have tempered glass, kind of like a Prince Rupert's drop, but flat. And on the windshield, you have annealed glass. First, let's talk about windshields. Glass on a windshield is designed to take a hit from a rock and not fall in on your lap. However, glass on the side windows are different. To demonstrate that, I got a window out of a car at a junkyard, and we're going to hit it and just watch what happens. Check out how it breaks. It doesn't break. That's because it's designed to be very, very strong in the center, but not on the edge. Watch what happens if we do the same thing on the edge. the whole thing shatters. To understand exactly why this happens, we're gonna go to my driveway and use a high-speed camera to analyze this at 20,000 frames per second. What are you doing, Mr. Mr. Helper? Holding glass. He's holding the glass. This is not tempered glass. We've got a high-speed camera. This is a V1610, which at the time that we made this video is the fastest high-speed camera on the market. And I have another helper over here. Not you. What are you doing? Pushing the um, button when the camera breaks. I mean, when the... Um, the camera's not going to break. The glass. <laughs> when the glass breaks. And what does that do? Start the camera. That's right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop tempered glass and not tempered glass. And we're going to show the difference between the two. And there's a special announcement at the end of this. So, let's do some science. You can move, buddy. I've got it. Yep. Safety glasses on. You ready, little girl? Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, did you do it? Okay, you ready, buddy? Tempered. Are you ready? Do, do your best. Three, two, one. Did you get it? It didn't break. <laughs> the timber glass didn't break. Drop it from higher this time. Try to drop it on the corner too. Three, two, one. Yeah! It's not breaking. Okay, so it wasn't breaking, so we're gonna tape this wrench onto the bottom of the glass. And the idea is that maybe the wrench will actually twist the edge and break the glass when it impacts. We'll see. Hopefully it works. Three, two, one. There we go. Okay, this is the aftermath. You can see on the left we have tempered glass. On the right, it's just normal annealed glass. So the question is, why do they break differently? It's pretty awesome though, isn't it? Okay, so what did we learn from this experiment? Annealed glass is just normal glass that's been heated up in the manufacturing process and then allowed to cool down gradually. This cooling relieves any internal stresses on the glass. You'll notice when the annealed glass breaks, not only is the cracking slow, but sometimes it doesn't even make it to the other side of the glass, which is good for windshields. A small crack in one spot of the windshield doesn't completely blind your vision. Also, they put a piece of plastic in between two sheets of annealed glass so that these big shards don't fall in and cut you inside the car. Tempered glass is very different. Instead of allowing the glass to cool down slowly, they use forced air to cool down the outer sides of the glass really quickly, which leaves the inside of the glass hot. Kind of like how a Prince Rupert's drop is made, if you remember that video. The inside is still hot, so as it cools down, it shrinks and pulls in, which puts the outside of the glass in compression, but the inside in really high tension. 
just like the Prince Rupert's drop, if you can get through that hard outer layer, it releases the tension and the failure front destroys the entire sheet of glass. On the Prince Rupert's drop, you have to get through the outside curved surface of the drop to release the tension. But on a car window, you have to get through the flat tempered surface to release the tension. With a sheet of glass though, we have to start it along one of the edges. Even after you break tempered glass, you can sometimes still hear the stress releasing itself as it continues to break. So there you go. The next time you need to escape from a car window, remember that the windshield is annealed and it's going to hold together. But the side windows are tempered and they're going to bust out completely as long as you hit them on the edge. Okay, I'm just gonna go for this. You're smart, you know how YouTube works. A company approaches a person with a large channel and says, can we sponsor a product on your channel? And the guy says, yes, and they agree on a price. This is different. I actually contacted this company because their product has changed my family in a really good way, and I want that to happen to your family. It's called Kiwi Crate. Last Christmas, I wanted to get a gift for my kids that would help me spend more time with them. Right now, I've been living in hotels for two and a half weeks. I wanna spend time with my kids right now. Every month, a Kiwi Crate shows up at the house for each of the kids. My, my son has a Tinker Crate, which is like a science and engineering kit. This is a trebuchet he gets to build, laser cut plywood. This is my daughter's, it's called a doodle crate. She gets to do an art project every month. She made paper, we did it together. My youngest son gets another one. This one's on transportation. This is called a koala crate. It's a little thing for his age group. But every month, they each get a box and they know that this box is something they get to do with daddy. So, I really want you to do this. If you know a kid and you want that kid to you know, just have their minds stimulated in many different ways, please consider going to kiwicrate.com slash smarter. Get a subscription for that kit. Because I approached Kiwi Crate, the first Kiwi Crate or Tinker Crate you get is free. If you don't like it, just cancel and never pay anything. I know you're gonna keep it because we do this and our family loves it. It is quality time I get to have with my kids and I that's all I want right now. So if you are interested in supporting Smarter Every Day and spending time investing into the mind of your children, give it a shot. I'm selling it hard, I really am. I know I'm selling it hard, and the reason is, I believe in it. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to subscribe, feel free to do that. If not, I'm Destin. You're getting smarter every day. Have a good one. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I wanna say thank you to a really awesome security guard that decided not to stop me. Thank you very much. What was your name? Tony. Tony. Yeah. Tony has common sense and he's awesome. I really appreciate that. <laughs> kiwicrate.com slash smarter first link in the description. Bye.